Chicago streets. Our streets. Say our streets our and mean it. Right. Mean it. Whose streets? Our, our streets. streets. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast. Man, today, man, we're going to be talking about black entrepreneurs. One in particular, um, he started out in the music industry, but, you know, transitioned into real estate, sports, you feel me, and just continuing to, you know, expand his portfolio. You feel me? Shout out to Texas. You feel me? You feel me? The Don of Houston, uh, Jay Prince, man. Um, I read his autobiography in the past, and listen to some of his uh interviews normally like he don't really be in in the limelight like that but recent you know in the recent years he's been doing uh podcast interviews and just uh been in the public more and so he's been really sharing more of his story especially when he uh launched his book well dropped his book and it was um he 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 dropped a lot of gems in there um so it's three business moves in particular that I want to talk about um especially coming from where he come from so just going into jay prince uh like the book was his his book was just a lot of detail uh just sharing the story about how he bounced back from losing his sister um who was hit by a train and just seeing that and moving and basically reshaping his mindset um and then basically they even went into the story of how he actually got his name end up becoming uh you know uh jay prince uh and going by jay prince and you know so as we transition you know going into the music industry how did he get into the music uh, not how did he get into the music industry but you know his beginning phase starting out in the music, music industry wasn't you feel me the whole glitz and glamour um as you would think, you feel me? Uh, I mean, but some people, you feel me, they do have that that instant success. It was not that instant success. Uh, the first group he had um, didn't really gel well. It didn't really go with his ideology. Uh, he was really looking for that real Houston, you feel me, that 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 ghetto sound. You feel me? Like, basically, yeah, like like that sound that every, because he felt like every hood could relate to it. Um, it's, it's, it's all the same struggle. We we all go through like common struggles uh you feel me so it's like um so he wanted that message to be said from the texas houston narrative you feel me from that voice uh and the first group that he had of artists that he had uh he was just saying like basically it was they were they they wasn't really going after that that texas sound they was more so going after like a new york sound because everything back then was new york influence even the radio stations they had a a, a a tight net like around basically like houston radios and stuff like that so he was just saying like you know just that being one of the hurdles going into um the music industry and then that's when he was able to align with the ghetto boys and then get them to create a group that had a sound that was basically a, a sound on a story that was relatable in every hood in america you feel me in every hood in america um with him even uh doing um with him even doing um uh, like interviews, having conversations with like Larry Hoover and stuff like that. Like um, Jay Prince in the music industry has really been able to build like a solid foundation, and he he did that by being the voice of the ghetto, starting out with the ghetto boys, bringing them together, and with doing that, he also utilized a marketing technique back then that you feel me 
was real big, I guess, because of that time you had to utilize everything that you had. You had to make the most of your current situations. You feel me? So they found value in everything. Um, for the album cover where they had what you call it, he was laying on the hospital bed because he just got stabbed in the eye. Uh, that was real. Like, you feel me? And to find out, like, that was real. That really did happen. You feel me? Real deal situation. And it was in the heat of the moment. They took advantage of the situation. And going against, you feel me? I mean, I don't know. You, you me thinking, like, I don't know, like, you don't know if that'll be acceptable or not, but it's like, you feel me, like, like, boom, put it out there, like, shit, put it out there, man, like, for real, for real, just put it out there, uh, because this is what's real, and this is what's really going on, he put it out there, you feel me, and like I said, Ghetto Boys had one of the, 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 like, the hardest responses in the hood, and that was, like, before, like, I was really, like, really into like hip-hop and you know music like that but i just grew up like you feel me like my mom dukes 